saw you smile today. Saw those dimples in your cheeks. Light from the window showing me what I know is on your mind, baby. I love you. I love you, honey. Don't you know I long to hear every little detail of your day. Running for the train, I hope it doesn't rain and make you late again. Surpasses knowledge that you may be filled to the measure of all of the fullness of God. Thank you very much. You've come, be, be, you've come before us and before God and your friends and family to, today, and uh, you want to exchange your vows. And the interesting thing about these vows is there's you'll hear in these vows that's a commitment to each other. But there's also a prayer aligned to the Lord, his kingdom, that they're dedicating their lives to. So Matt, would you repeat after me the vows that you have for Emily? You know, you might feel that. Okay? No, you just hang on to your right hand. Yeah. I, Matt, take you, Emily. I, Matt. My wife. To be my wife. My partner in life. My partner in life. And my one true love. And my one true love. Lord, help us to remember the time. Lord, help us to remember the time. When we first met. When we first met. And the strong love. And the strong love. That grew between us. That grew between us. Help us to apply that love. Help us to apply that love. In practical things. In practical things. So nothing divides us. So nothing divides us. We humbly ask for kind words. We humbly ask for kind words. Filled with love. Filled with love. And for our hearts. Always ready to ask. Always ready to ask forgiveness, forgiveness. As well as to forgive. As well as to forgive. Lord, we leave our marriage. Lord, we leave our marriage. In your name. In your name. Amen. Amen. And Emily, will you repeat these vows to Matt? <laughs> I'll lean. I Emily take you, Matt. I Emily take you, Matt. To be my husband. To be my husband. My partner in life. My partner in life. And my one true love. And my one true love. Lord, help us to remember. Lord, help us to remember. The time we when we first met. We first met. And the strong love, and the strong love that, grew between us. that grew between us. Help us to apply that love. Help us to apply that love in practical things. In practical things. So nothing divides us. So nothing divides us. We humbly ask for kind words. We humbly ask for kind words. Filled with love. Filled with love. And for our hearts, always ready to ask for forgiveness. And for our hearts, always ready to ask for forgiveness. As well as to forgive. As well as to forgive. Lord, we leave our marriage in your hands. Well, you know, the rings are a special, significant part of every wedding. And we know that rings are shaped in a circular fashion. And it tells us, like love, that love never ends. It continues to go. There's also a cost with rings. <laughs> right, Matt? <now>. Yeah. <laughs> well worth it. Well worth it. And I would say, just like the rings, there's a cost to love. Jesus said that greater love has no one than this, 
than one laid on their life for their friend. And that's what's happening here today. So I'm going to ask if Todd could come forward with the rings. And will you take the ring that you have for Emily and place it upon the third finger of her left hand and repeat after me. I give you this ring, you this ring as, a as a sign of my love and devotion. And with all that I am, and with all that I, am I, honor I honor you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the, Son, and of the Holy Spirit. And, the Holy Spirit. And, Emily, and Emily, will you take the ring that you have for Matt? place it upon the third finger of his left hand and repeat after me. I give you this ring, you this ring as, a as a sign of my love and devotion. And with all that I am, I honor you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. You'll notice this table behind me in which I'm going to ask if Matt and Emily could step towards. And what they will do at this time is they're going to illustrate for us the importance of their lives being joined together as one. It's a beautiful illustration of a structure that will be built so that we can see their lives being joined together as one. The unity heart signifies the wedding covenant. It's a lasting re reminder of the bride and groom coming together with their faith in Christ, beginning their lifelong journey as one. The bold outer heart represents the groom. He is the strength and the cover for his family and home. Yet without his bride, it's still incomplete. The intricate inner heart represents the bride. Beautiful and multifaceted, she brings her creative abilities and wisdom. Then coupled then, trust their hearts to one another, combined with their faith in Christ together. And that's the ceiling of the part on top. That they will join their faith in Christ together, completing the unity heart and demonstrating their commitment to each other and their lives to Christ together. And as we recognize that this is the illustration, they also would like to give thanks and just have that expression of their gratefulness to their parents at this time because of how they demonstrated love to them as they grew up together. symbol of your love and devotion to each other. I therefore pronounce that you are husband and wife. What God has joined together today, let no one separate. Congratulations to the both of you. And Matt, this is your time to express your love for your wife with a kiss. Let's thank God for what he's joined together with you. to the both of you. Would you pray with me? <clears throat> Father, we've come today as family and friends, those who are physically present before you, whom we love, who are now with, with you, asking your blessing upon these two lives and this home that's being established. You have made us so that we are incomplete without each other, so that we yearn for someone whom we can love and whose love we can receive. We are thankful for the love that we see between Matt and Emily. We pray that your love will be the shield and the stay for the both of them. When joy comes, may they share it together. When sorrow threatens, may they bear it together. In gladness and in tears, in sunshine or shadow, 
in sun of Hawaii or snow in Wisconsin. May they draw closer to you each other to, and to each other and near to you every single day. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. And so I'd ask if you could turn and face your family and friends. As a minister of the Lord Jesus Christ and by the sovereign state of Wisconsin, it is such a joy for me to be able to present to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Matt and Emily Nicodem. Thank you so much. 